you a on weather net. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ASTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Go Starlink. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base carrying our stack of 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which we should see in just a few seconds Falcon here. Is supersonic. Max Q. We did just pass through max Q. Now we will have three events happening in quick succession. First we will have main engine cutoff or MECO, followed by stage separation and second engine startup one. Now first main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine of the M1D engines shut off to slow the stage down in preparation for stage separation. This is where the first stage and the second stage separate with stage one starting to make its way back down to earth for landing while stage two continues on its journey to orbit. And back chill started. Miko. State separation confirmed. And back ignition.
one entry burn startup. There's the start of our stage one entry burn, 20 second burn. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. One entry burn shutdown. Seco one. You can see we did just have successful first stage landing of our 98th overall orbital class stage rocket. Stage one landing confirmed. And this includes both Falcon 9 and heavy first stage landings. We heard the call out during that stage one landing that we did have second engine cutoff one. We're just waiting for confirmation of a nominal good orbit. orbit insertion. We just heard the call out for nominal orbital insertion. So next up, we will be having payload deploy at about T plus 15 and a half minutes. Unfortunately, at that time, we won't have ground station coverage, which means we won't have a visual or data confirmation of a successful deployment until we acquire signal at our Mauritius ground station at about T plus 50 minutes into flight. Expected loss of signal, Vandenberg. Thank <laughs> you. 